you know, it's giving me middle of winter, you know, it's already getting to be middle of January. And one question we're getting a lot of is using dead sticks for walleyes. You know, and I'll tell you what, <laughs> you have all these lures, you have all these different presentations out there. And at the end of the day, there's so many days, so many times where a plain hook and a split shot will outfish anything. And you get in the middle of the winter especially, and it just seems like good bait over good spots can catch a lot of fish, especially if these fish aren't really aggressive or wound up. And a lot of times too, you know, we might pull fish in by jigging a spoon or jigging a glide bait. And if the fish don't hit the more aggressive presentation that's getting worked, they'll come over to the dead stick that's sitting right next to you. And so dead sticks can be really important this time of year. Now there's a lot of different ways to set up a dead stick. I mean, you can use a slip bobber, you can use a rattle reel, I'm just using a, this is just a 36 inch dead meat rod. You just see that light tip where just that fish just loads up that rod when that fish hits the middle. And you know, again, plain hook and a split shot. Again, you can use small jigs. I use uh, like the clam blade jigs quite a bit, just something to add a little bit of color and flash. But I'll tell you what, on a lot of tough bites, plain hook and a split shot, that gets it done. And basically this rod then can just sit on a bucket next to you or on a rod holder, on a rod stand. That rod tip, you'll just see that rod tip vibrating with that minnows getting excited when you have a fish in and that rod tip will just dunk. When that rod tip dunks, just set the hook. Here's a fish. Here, you got him. Wow. I love the big head shakes. They don't like to come off that bottom. Oh yeah, look at there. Oh, that is a dandy. Come here. Oh, come here. Ha, ha, ha. On the dead stick. And a lot of times, too, with dead sticks, doesn't matter if you're using a bobber or just using a light tip like this, set the hook with the reel. Just crank and get that rod bent over and let those fish choke up on it. Now, there's a lot of different ways to hook minnows. And I tell you, one thing that I like to do is using a plain hook. And you can nick them in the back, you can hook them in the tail, you can hook them in the head. I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can hook them in on. A lot of different things will catch fish. But here's something that I've found that works best for me, is that I just nick the height of the minnow right behind the gill, just so that hook is kind of facing towards the head and it's towards the head of the minnow. And basically when you put that minnow in the water, you just see how hard they can pull. That minnow just, just, it has a lot of horsepower by hooking them that way. And they stay alive for a long time. But the biggest thing you're gonna see is that when a walleye or even a perch or a crappie, a lot of times when they grab onto a minnow, they grab onto it head first. And by having that hook towards the head, if I see a bite or know that I have a bite, I just set the hook, I don't wait. And so I believe by hooking a minnow that way, you can just, for me, it's the best thing I've found for a batting average. Now if that isn't working, you can always try something different. Now see how this minnow, is, going all over the place. I mean, that minnow can go up, it can go down. And sometimes when these fish are really off, that can be too much. And so a lot of times I might start out by putting that minnow up and letting that minnow swim around. If these fish are a little bit lethargic and don't wanna come up for it, slide that split shot closer to the hook and then pinch the tail off that minnow. And you see it now, that minnow can still wiggle hard, but look at there, that minnow just can't get away. It just stays in one spot, fighting against the weight of that split shot and the fact that it doesn't have a tail, doesn't have as much horsepower anymore. And so that's just a couple of tricks there. A lot of times, don't be afraid to set these dead sticks up off the bottom, especially when you're starting out the day because a minnow that's working hard up off the bottom is gonna pull fish in from a lot further away. And the more aggressive fish are gonna gun it down. If these fish are off, and you're seeing fish show up, they're just not hitting the dead stick, slide that split shot a little closer, anchor it a little closer to the bottom, pinch the tail off the minnow if you have to, but at the end of the day, when nothing else works, a lot of times just a good minnow, dead stick, will save the day.